Hey guys, welcome to Sunny Bermuda. Today we're going to do some cleaning of some cartridges here. I got a six blade or two six blades in my scare fire cartridge. I just did a scap, uh, basically a height of cut reset on my front yard. And it's been raining every day, so this got really dirty. I caked on grass from when it was wet because I finished cutting it in the rain actually. And then the scare fire here, you can see it gets caked on dirt too spinning through the yard and then this one this is my finished six blade i got my 10 blade up over there it's not very dirty so i'm not going to clean it today but i'm going to really and knock out these three we need a couple of things to clean these up first our brushes got a couple of basically cheap brushes off amazon or you pick them up at local walmart and the cleaner we're going to use today is super clean got a couple of products here they're both the same. One is in aerosol form. So I'm anxious to use this. I've never used it before, but it should have some good foaming action. So I do like you detail a vehicle. I'm first gonna spray it down. I'm gonna do your pre-soak, let it soak, let the detergents in the cleaner work in. It's also a degreaser, which would be good on the reels because I use fluid film on the surface of the reel here as it comes in contact with the uh, bed knife. That's really important to use some fluid film or some people use WD-40 by light fluid film. Let's grab some of this and spray it on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spray this one first with the uh, aerosol can. And I may do this one with this product. I'm not sure if it's foaming or not, but I'll spray it on good. And i hit this one. I may use the aerosol can on it too. Well, before I spray this, I'm going to put, I'm going to take the water hose and knock off the large debris that'll just fall off with the power of the water hose. We're gonna let this sit a little while. The instructions on the back, it's pretty simple. I'll, I'll go over it while these work. To avoid damaging surface, always pre-test an inconspicuous area. I have used it before, I've used it on vehicles, so I know SuperClean's pretty safe. Number two, cover surface with SuperClean in the appropriate strength, allowing time to dissolve grease and grime. Do not allow to dry on surface, so make sure, we're gonna keep this wet, so make sure it doesn't dry on the surface. Then rinse thoroughly and dry as needed, and then depending on how much you're using super clean wear gloves and or eye protection for safety tips you know go to superclean.com so we're gonna let it work its magic okay we've let that soak for a little bit so now we're gonna take our water hose and give it an initial rinse off Okay, now that's really, really did a pretty good job. It allowed to soak in, it really knocked off. With the water hose, it helped knock off all these large clumps that you saw on the scarify here. Really clean this up. Still got some, some heavy deposits here. And that's really the fluid film that's on it. Holding on to it. Kind of greasy feeling. This one, 
this one wasn't too bad. So it didn't take much to really knock it off. You can see a little bit of dirt in there. But yeah, it wasn't too bad. So now we're gonna put on a second coat and let it sit a little bit longer. And then we'll come back and we'll, we'll scrub it with these brushes here, finish cleaning them up. This is the second spraying and I let it sit a little longer. Now I'm gonna grab my brushes and really you know, touch it up. And Get in there with the brushes and scrub them out. I think I had my camera turned off while I was spraying it that second time. Basically just get in here, knock it out. Just making quick work of it. Look at that. Okay guys, these are all clean. Just blew them off after I washed them. Really good. Looking good. Here, see this. Looking really good. This is my newer six blade reel. It's been good. What I'll do is, before I put these up, we do live in the south. I live in Alabama, so humidity is extremely high. So I'll make sure I put some fluid film on all these metal parts here. Try and minimize the rusting on it. This one here really needs it. As you can see, it's the, the paint's really coming off. These are powder coated from the factory when you get them from Allop. But uh, I'll have an interesting video coming up to show how I minimize this, because this I used this one all last year. You can see it's even coming off the bottom of the plate here. But this one, I've used it all year this year, and the peeling is really minimum. As you can see, there's a little bit a little bit on the edges here, just a small amount, nothing compared to this one. You can see just the whole reel is almost flaked off. But uh, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. See how I clean my little uh, cartridges, clean them up, oil them down with some fluid film, and I'll hang them up in my garage there over there. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button too. And leave me a comment. Love to hear from you guys. I'll try to reply to every single comment. See you in the next video.